said, hop it in. Now, I don't need to introduce myself because I'm already wearing a name tag, as you can see. For everyone out there watching this video, all three of you guys, I assume that you're curious about tomorrows and what they are. And no, it is not a food. No, it is not a place. No, it is not a taco. But rather, a chameleon. Transformers, if you will. The Chamorro people have the ability to change ethnic groups. They can be Mexican. They can be Filipino. Hawaiian. Asian. Don't believe me? Here's a Chamorro as a Mexican. Here's a Chamorro as a Filipino. Hawaiian. As an Asian. Yeah, Chamorros are everything but Chamorros. A lot of you might be asking, where do such creatures come from? Well, if the last few bits of information were kind of confusing for you, you go, look at this. Chamorros don't originate from just one island. They actually originate from a lot. I was too lazy to Google all of them, so I'm just gonna name the ones on the top of my head. There's Guam, Saipan, Tinian, Rota, Taco Bell, Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, Panda Express. Dude. What? Those are all the places you like to eat. Despite that, how we label Chamorros are very different. So, here's the thing, you can't be a Chamoran from Chamorro, but you can be a Hawaiian from Hawaii, a Filipino from the Philippines, a Samoan from Samoa, and Chuckies are called Michael Aitens. But when you're Chamorro, you're most likely from the island of Guam, or Saipan, or Tinian, or Rota, or any other islands within the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. What do Chamorros eat? The Chamorro dish comes in a variety of flavors, many different dishes. Most likely, there's never going to be one dish that's the same, or a dish that has the same ingredient. Here's some to name a few. Spam. Spam and rice. Spam and fried rice. Spam fried rice. Spam rice and eggs. Spam rice, tomato sauce, and corn. Spam rice and Portuguese sausage. Spam rice and chorizo's papa. Spam rice, chili sauce, and corn. And for all of you chamorros that are laughing, just stop it. Spam rice and sushi. Spam and corned beef. Iconic spam sandwich with lettuce, eggs, tomato, ketchup, and Tabasco. What language do the Chamorros speak? Chamorro. Where are the Chamorros? Over there. When are the Chamorros? They're today. Why are Chamorros? Why do you think? Who are Chamorros? Like one guy who takes home six plates of food before they bless the table. And before I end this video, I wouldn't be doing my imaginary job if I didn't tell you how to spot a Chamorro. Lesson one, speech. If you hear someone say the word nigh at the end of a sentence to prove a point, Chamorro. Excuse me, sir. Yes. What's your name? Uh, St. Francis Peter John Camacho Tahajio Guru Tyrone. Uh, what's your middle name? John Camacho Tahajio Guru Tyrone, eh? Uh. When you see someone asking for something and they end the sentence with the word fan, you got yourself a Chamorro. Can you do me a favor, fan? When you hear the word leche being overused in almost any situation, in replace of words such as whoa or you doing the most. Leche! Lesson two, physical attribute for men. If he's short, wearing a tank top, Zori holding a ukulele, and looks mean for no reason at all, he's Chamorro. For a woman, if she's short, wearing a tank top, Zori holding a ukulele, and looks mean for no reason at all, then she's Chamorro. Finally, lesson three, altitude. There's two types of Chamorro, the happy kind and the high blood pressure kind. Here's the happy kind. What I said, half a day. And here's the mean kind. It didn't show up. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope this information I gave you in this video will help further understand your understanding of the Chamorros to understand. Don't forget to subscribe for more adventures soon to come. Anyways, Sizuus Maasi, thank you very much. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.